how to use the CLI wallet, import your private keys, and send Electronium to an exchange. Here I am at github.com backslash Electronium. I'll click on Electronium, and then I'll click on Releases. Here there are Linux, Mac, and Windows releases. I've already downloaded the Windows release. I'll extract it. Go into the folder. And in here you see a number of files. I want to double click on Electronium D. This will launch the daemon, download and synchronize the blockchain for me. I've already pretty much downloaded the blockchain, so it'll just quickly sync up. Yours might take a little bit longer. Once it says you are now synchronized with the network, you can open the CLI wallet. But before I do that, I'll set up the commands that I'm going to use with the CLI wallet. I'll take my public wallet address and paste it into this text document. I'll get rid of the line breaks, the spaces. Now my address is all one line. I'll type in view here. Spend. And I'll type address above the public wallet, just so I remember that's what it is. I'll copy the private view key, paste it into the document, get rid of the line break, make it all one line. I'll copy the private spend key, paste it into the document, get rid of the line break, make it all one line. I'll go to Cryptopia. I'm already logged into Cryptopia. I'll go to the B at the top and then to Balances. Then I'll type in Electronium in the search. There's Electronium. I'll click on the green deposit logo. And this brings up two addresses, Payment ID and Electronium ETN address. I'll copy the Payment ID and then paste it over payment ID in my command. I'll copy the address and then paste it over address in my command. Now all I need is the amount which I'll get after I load up my wallet. I'm going to open a command prompt and now I'll navigate to the directory that the Electronium wallet is in. It's on my E drive, so I'll type in E colon and then hit enter. And then I'll copy the path to the wallet. I'll type in CD space and then paste in the path and hit enter. Now I'm in the directory that the wallet is in. I'll copy the command for importing my keys and I'll paste it into the command prompt. Then I'll hit enter. It asks me for my standard address. So I'll copy my wallet address, paste it in, hit enter. Now it asks me for my spend key. So I'll copy my spend key paste it in, hit enter. Now it asks for my view key, so I'll copy my view key, paste it in, hit enter. Now I need to type in a password, so I'll type in a password, hit enter. Confirm my password, I'll type it in again, hit enter. It asks me to restore from a specific blockchain height, I'll just use the default height of zero, so I'll just hit enter without typing anything in. 
And now the wallet will search through the blockchain and find all of the transactions associated with my wallet. Now it's loading all the transactions that I've received. It's finished. It says I have a balance of 226.9. So I'll go ahead and change the amount value in the transfer command. I'll put in 222 to make things easy. In this command I have transfer, the address, the amount, and then the payment ID to the exchange. I'll copy the command. Paste it into the wallet. Hit enter. It asks for my password. I'll type in my password and hit enter. It tells me there's a backlog of eight blocks in order to send this transaction. Asks me if it's okay. I'll type Y and hit enter. It tells me that it will have to be divided into two transactions and that the fee is 0 0.21. Again, I'll type in Y and hit enter. And the transaction was successful. I'll type in show underscore transfers and hit enter. This shows me that my transfer to the exchange is pending. The two transactions are pending. Now it's been sent. I'll type in balance. It says my balance is 4.69. Again, I'll type in show underscore transfers and hit enter. they now are on the exchange. So I'm going to click on exchange and then click on ETN and I'll sell these 222 ETNs for some BTC. So I'll click on the top buy order and then click on my balance of 222 ETN and then I'll click sell ETN. And now I have 0 0.00134041 BTC. So that's it. I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped. And thanks for watching.